welcome back to my channel. So we're right now checking into a hotel. We're gonna go to the Bracken house too um, in a different video, but we're staying at a haunted hotel. This is the lobby, like it looks like a house. Guys, look at this. Guys, this is our freaking room. I usually don't tell people where the portals are, but there's one in this room, and it's up here, and it's to the left. Um, I know where I'm sleeping. Wall, yeah. <laughs> she wants to go see the portal. That's the portal <laughs> up on the left. Up the left. Yeah. You know where the portal is? Yeah. Another yeah. Another round. Another round. Dude, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, it's right here. Oh wow. So this gentleman, he actually had a shaman come because he's had a ghost following him for a long time and he i guess he bought this place but there was a shaman and he came and blessed the entire place and he said that there are three portals in this location that we're at one of them is right here apparently and i am sleeping right there by myself ashley and mikey have their own room and then brian's sleeping down in that bed so i will be sleeping up here next to an active portal that is interesting wow there's a lot of energy up here you can feel it it's pretty crazy he was giving us some history he said that this place was built in 1915 and al capone and a bunch of other gangsters used this place along with other places around here as hideouts and there's tunnels that run along underneath into like a lake or something and that's where the gangsters would sneak alcohol in and other drugs in the prohibition era so this is really interesting i'm really excited to stay here look at this freaking staircase oh my gosh I am so freaking excited. I think they're going over to Mikey's room, so we're gonna go see that. Now, let's see if I could find them. Oh my God, this is creepy, guys. I don't know where they went. I guess I'll go this way, try to find them. Oh, I hear them, I hear them. Ooh, this is your guys' this room. This was Al Capone's master bedroom that he stayed in. Ooh. And this one had a portal right there. Oh wow. Right there. So there used to be a tunnel. <laughs> so there used to be a hallway right here behind this wall where this wall is. Wait, there used to be a hallway where this wall is and that's where Al Capone would escape to the tunnels if he had to hide. It's the courtyard. <laughs> Look at that statue. <laughs> Aww. We just got a full on tour of this place. Wow, this is crazy. How cool is this? So we're staying at, me and Brian are staying in the Villa, Villa Toscana? Or is that an F? No, it's a T. I like it in here, it's nice and cozy. Guys, look at this freaking doll behind Mikey. <gasps> look at that. It's gonna move at night. Oh my gosh. We're the only ones here. Look too. at this one. Yeah, we're literally the only ones staying That's at this so entire scary. place. So cool. Jen, are you staying? No, I have to work tomorrow. So this place is called the Flor de Lac. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. The Flor, the Flor de Lac. There's a lot of angels and stuff in here. It kind of makes me feel a little like safer. It's cute, and we have a fireplace. It's really cozy in here. 
So we're about to head to the Bracken Fern Manor, then we're gonna come back here and investigate a little bit. We're gonna do two separate videos here, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that Bracken Manor video. Or if it's already up, go check it out. Ashley, are you filming now? <laughs> you film now! <laughs> <laughs> Brian gets the super pretty princess bed. I don't think it was so. The princess bed. He's been waiting his whole yeah. life for this princess bed. Yeah, look at the view. Oh, the chairs, there's lights. And look, yeah. Shannon gets to be in another oh, video, yeah. another haunted this video. Is, is like, you, Wait, you, you guys, oh, yeah. you guys are getting all ready to look at them. They're all, I'm ready. <laughs> Finally found my little tripod here, so hopefully the camera's more stabilized. Oh. <laughs> look at that. That's really creepy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like my pictures better in my room. <laughs> I honestly feel a lot of energy in this room. That light just flickered. That was really weird. But it's full of antiques. And I hear that spirits attach to objects sometimes. So this, this is pretty freaking Good cool. Night, this is the entry, and then he said there's a kitchen back oh, here we hello. could use. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. It's an unknown door. There's just like a lady showering. She's like, oh! <laughs> what is this? That's like where they would put mail. It's, like it's the most random stuff. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> So freaking cool. Um, look at the I, I clock. Look at the clock. All right, guys. So we just went to the Bracken Fern Manor house. That was really freaking creepy. We weren't there too long because we just felt really eerie in there and it was really freaking cold. Like it was as cold as it is outside indoors. So we're gonna see if we could get any spirits to communicate with us. I honestly feel like there's like nice spirits here. Just positive energy. It feels really in this. Homey. Yeah, definitely. Definitely does. And then. Because at the bracket house. That yeah, that place was story. really like we just I felt really angry in there. I felt irritated. I just everyone it just wasn't a good vibe in there. I guess because people were murdered in there, it just had a bad history. But here I feel like it's I don't know. I don't know how to explain it here. What are you doing? Whoa. 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 <laughs> So we're sitting next to the portal right now in the room and we're gonna use the necrophonic app, see if we could get any spirits to communicate with us. <laughs> so as we said earlier, Al Capone and a bunch of different gangsters would hang out here along with other locations like the Bracken House where a lot of people were murdered in that house. But here, I'm not sure people were murdered in this house, maybe, but underneath in the escape tunnels, like directly underneath this house, people were murdered in the tunnels and there were pieces of them found and apparently they threw the pieces into the lake of the people but i mean who knows maybe that's they allegedly. still haunt it i i don't know allegedly i don't know that's what they saw online and stuff so it's really creepy and the man who lives here told us about that too so that's pretty creepy honestly but we feel good energy here there's like a yeah, we definitely feel a good energy here compared to the Bracken house. That house was really creepy. I really did not like that one at all. Yeah. Two bolt right. cutters. Hey, is this right? a great escape? Is this oh, this is a <laughs> <laughs> Brian found a secret door! <laughs> it's really small. It wouldn't be like a closet. No, it's, it's a escape patch. It's like a escape patch. Do you think this was one of the escape yeah. Things or yeah. maybe it's just storage. I don't know. Or it's a um, portal. It's side. a portal to the other room. Did you drink yes, your beer? Yes, Munchkin. Oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> Brian. Brian's drunk. We can put her on the lake, Brian's drunk. Ghost hunting. <laughs> he sits there. My phone's right next to him. He saw like. He's knocking things over. Yeah. Do you want to help? 
It doesn't quite, it just barely covers it. Okay. Yeah, just, Don't touch it. you're good. What is that noise? If there's any spirits here who want to communicate with us. Whoa, my camera just glitched the f out. That was weird. Oh my gosh. Oh, I felt something touch the back of my freaking neck just now. What? Was it you? No, it wasn't. I, they saw me. I had my hand my phone. Okay, that was weird. It like tickled me. And then my camera glitched out. That was really weird. Okay. I didn't, we didn't even start yet. <laughs> oh my god. Did one of you just touch my neck? That was like a laugh. Who touched my neck? It felt like it got dimmer yeah, there I for did. a second. Yeah, I did. I saw that. What is your name? Turn it on? Is that what it said? I don't know. Help. Help. Hell or help? Yeah, it sounded like help. help. Was it help? Don't touch. Don't touch that! that. <laughs> Don't touch what? What are we touching? <laughs> yellow? What do you see yellow? The lights are turning. The lights like oh, keep dimming. I don't yellow. know. That's really weird. What's the fun? How many spirits are with us? Six? Six? It's like Al Capone. Anyone here? Yeah. Is Al Capone here with us? Sorry. Did you hear that old music? Bruce? Was there someone named Bruce? We could do that. Sure. I do reverb because echoes. Do you want to do reverb? Just see. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Mike. I don't know if it said Mike. I think it's said Mike. I thought it said the L. Is Al Capone here with us? Bugsy, 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 Bugsy,
Oh Back God. at it again with another video. <laughs> Back at it again. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Back at it again with <laughs> You're bad at this. Why is it? It's there we go. I got it. My life. I'm the <laughs> one that matters. Hello, <laughs> Whoa. Ashley. Whoa. I told you that is me. Signing off. Alright guys, so it's the middle of the night and I don't know what that was. I just heard a noise. I legit felt someone tickling like the back of my ankle. Like it felt like something was like dragging its like nails really lightly on the back of my ankle. So I moved my ankle, and I thought that I felt it on my other foot. I don't know, it's really weird. I also keep hearing weird noises. I don't know if it's Brian down there, but he's pretty sound asleep, so I don't know. My night camera ran out of battery, so I don't know. If I caught anything on there, I guess I'll look at it in the morning. I don't know when it turned off though. I guess I don't know how long it was on for. This is legit my first time sleeping in a haunted location, like in a bed by myself. Usually I'm with Ashley or Drew or Chris in the same bed, but this is my first time alone in a bed in a haunted place. So this is pretty creepy. This is like a really creepy experience right now. I guess I'll update you guys later. I have like a night light over there. Cause I got kind of scared. Alright, I'm gonna try to go back to sleep. See you guys in the morning. Guys, I'm not even kidding. There's something tickling my ankle right now. I just woke up again. And it stopped. It feels like something keeps freaking tickling my ankle. And then it like moves to my arm and then it moves to my neck and I don't know, it's really weird. Like I've never felt this before. <sighs> I have not been able to sleep very well. I thought I would sleep well here, but I don't know, it's really weird. I don't know if I'm just tripping out or what's going on, but. I've woken up like five times to something tickling me. I'm so scared to sleep right now. I was thinking about turning on the light, but I mean, that's not really gonna make a difference. All right, trying to go back to sleep again. All right, guys, we made it through the night. <laughs> yeah, we survived. Yeah, I woke up at least five or six times due to something that kept touching me. I, I don't know if it was like trying to scare me or comfort me or what. It was really, really weird. It legit felt like a little, just a rub like that. 
just on it was on my face at one point like this so I wiped my face and then it kept doing it so it wasn't like a bug I don't know it was really weird and I kept feeling it on my face and then I'd turn over then I'd feel it on my arm and then I'd roll over and then I'd feel it somewhere else on my body it was really strange eventually I just fell asleep to it I mean I maybe it was trying to comfort me I I don't know but that was really creepy don't know if I caught anything on the night camera or not but I guess I'll see when I'm editing this video I'm kind of nervous okay so Brian doesn't really believe in ghosts right um, no. like that much okay uh, not at all what not like I'm trying to prove I'm trying to find him I'm like I haven't I'm looking for one I oh, okay. want definite proof. He wants proof. Yes, okay. And last night was the first time. So the I, door yeah. slamming wasn't enough proof yeah. for you? <laughs> yes, that. But then I always think, hey, maybe a, a burst of wind or the, <laughs> or like the cold air. Okay, what, the, hap uh, what happened when you were on. sleeping? But when I was sleeping, all of a sudden I opened my eyes and there's like a, like a burst of kind of like a yellow light. What? And, um, in the middle of the night, and it's like a, um, it felt like a. A presence, but it was like war like a warm presence. It wasn't like an evil spirit or something like kind of evil, like kind of scary. Like I'm scared. I'm kind of like shocked because I don't, I didn't, I didn't think that was gonna happen. This is the first time I actually felt like there was the spirit was or something was actually there. Where did you see it down right there? Down there next to the bed. What? It was like right next to me, like a like a burst of kind of like yellow light. What? It's really weird. Dang. I, I have never. But you felt like comforted. Felt like that, like um, like a presence. Other than, cause like I felt like you kind of like see it, like the door blowing. I thought you know, um, I could always like say something like there. the heater turned on or the gust of wind. To the, but the that was just building. like light. Whoa, but my camera's was like burst. blurry as we're talking about this. Yeah, it's this so weird. Big, I wonder like a burst what it. Of light and energy, and you said you felt something like touching. Oh you. yeah, all night something kept touching me. But it was like a warm. It wasn't like scary it was like yeah, it, it kept like petting me <laughs> like, like an animal <laughs> that's interesting because it's all angels down here you know and then you saw that light like that's really interesting yeah, to me right i mean i'm not like super religious but i i mean that's pretty got my angel right here. I just, that's yeah. kind of interesting that's why i felt the, the, the warm presence and so we're gonna get going. I'm gonna go meet up with Ashley and Mikey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I caught something on video for you guys. I hope it was entertaining. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Also hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post. And I will see you guys in my next video.